Welcome back everybody. Thank you for so much for uh, joining me for another session. Um, on today's segment, we are talking about getting out of Haran. Getting out of Haran. The story of Abraham is a common story. Everybody um, knows the story of Abraham, how God called him and promised him to give him the land of Canaan and how he promised Abraham that he is going to uh, be the father of many nations and God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. He changed his wife's name from Sarai to Sarah. He promised them that he would increase them and he would bless those who blessed them and curse those who cursed them. However, very little is spoken of, taught about the father of Abraham. The father of Abraham is an interesting man and not very much is spoken of about him in the Bible. However, in Genesis chapter 11 from verse 27 and 28, including 31 and 32, it gives us an overview of this man um, named Terah, who was Abraham's father. And this is what he says. Um, this is the account of Terah's family line. Terah became the father of Abraham, who later became Abraham, Nahu, and Haran. And Haran became the father of Lot. While his father Terah was still alive, Haran died in the in Ur of the Chaldeans in the land of his birth. Verse 31 says this. And Terah took his son Abraham and his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, the wife of his son Abraham, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. Listen to what he just said. And together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Verse 32 says, Terah lived 205 years and he died in Haran. Now, let me put what we have just read in context for you. So, Terah takes his family and he heads to Canaan. Uh, let me pause for a moment and remind you that uh, later on, God appears to Abraham Terah's son and promises to give him Canaan and to make him a father of many nations and to bless those who bless Abraham and to curse those who curse Abraham. Canaan was going to be the promised land. It is a present day Israel. It was the land of promise. Terah originally, even before Abraham started heading to Canaan, his father, Terah, originally started heading out to Canaan together with his family. However, the Bible tells us that before Terah and his family set out, one of his sons called Haran died while they were still in Ur of the Chaldeans in the land of his birth. Now, here is Terah, he's lost a son, and he's heading out to Canaan, and they come to a town named Haran, just as Haran, his son. So he lost a son called Haran, and on his way to the promised land, he comes and encounters a town with the same name as his dead son. 
And the Bible tells us that he settles there. Not only does he settle there, it tells us that Terah died in Haran. Why is that important for us to keep that in mind? Because Terah was not heading out to Haran. Terah was heading out to Canaan. And this is why I have entitled this segment, Getting Out of Haran. Why? Because Haran is a place of compromise. Haran is a place uh, that robs you of purpose. Haran is a place that stops you, not only stops you, makes you get stuck. And many times in our lives, we come to places, to seasons in our lives, where we are not supposed to settle there, to build a house there. We're not supposed to make that our encampment, our habitation, our forever home, but we take that place that we were never meant to settle in, we make it our home and our dwelling place while we were supposed to be going out to the promised land. We settle for less than what God called us to go for. We settle for less than that what God has in mind for us. What God had in mind for Terah and his family was the promised land Canaan. But Terah comes to this place called Haran, and he settles there, and the Bible tells us that he died there. Many scholars have debated the reason why Terah settled in Haran. Some scholars say that the hurt of losing his son influenced his decision to live in the town that had the same name as his dead son. And many times in our lives, we become like terror. We allow hurts, disappointments, bitterness, unforgiveness, unfulfilled dreams to cause us to get stuck in that state. When we were supposed to be going to the promised land, when we were supposed to be going where God wants us to go, when we were supposed to be waiting for what God has in store for us, we settle in Haran and we get stuck there and we die there. Our dreams die there. Our purpose dies there. Our accomplishments never become realized because we have settled in a place less than what God had intended for us. There is a difference between stopping and getting stuck. Listen to me. To stop is to cease movement. To get stuck is to be unable to move. And this is what happened to Terah for whatever reason. Maybe it was the hurt of losing his son. And nostalgia makes him live in a town that had his dead son's name. Maybe... Getting stuck is what happened to Terah. Maybe it was other reasons, but even in our lives, we get to a point where we are unable to move out of places of compromise for whatever reason. But Haran is not what God had intended for Terah, because later on, uh, just a chapter later, he tells Abraham to set out for Canaan, to head out for Canaan. I'm glad that um, Abraham refused to allow whatever reasons his dad had for settling in Haran influence him. He decided in spite of uh, him Having lived in Haran together with his father, he was not going to die in Haran like his father did. He was not going to die in the place of compromise like his father did. He was going to head out to the promised land, to this place that God had in store for him and his family. And that is what we need to do, my friends. We need to not settle for anything other than what God has in store for us. We need to get out of Haran. We need to get out of a life of compromise. We need to get out of whatever it is in our lives that has become a Haran to us, a place of compromise, a place of being stuck, a, plain, a place that is robbing us of our dreams, our aspirations, and our desire to see God's 
promises fulfilled in our lives. Haran is this place that steals from us what God has from us, for us. God had Canaan in mind, but for whatever reasons Terah had, he comes to Haran, he settles there, and he dies there. Let's not allow our dreams, our hopes, our aspirations, our plans to die in Haran. The promised land is our destiny, not Haran. Take a minute and think about your life and think about what places in your life have you settled for less than what God has in store for you? What areas in your life have you traded in the original for the counterfeit? What areas in your life have you compromised in? Because Haran is a place of compromise. We are not supposed or meant to settle in Haran. We are meant to head out, seek out Canaan, and dwell in Canaan because Canaan is a promise. I'm praying that in this year, God is going to help us to come out of places of compromise. In whatever area you may have compromised in, that place is Haran. Just as Terah settled there and died there, that is what would happen to us if we stay in this place of compromise, if we stay in Haran. We need to do everything we can to come out of this place. We need to get out of Haran in 2021. I'm hoping that you are going to join me in pursuing what God has for us, what God has in store for us in 2021, that we are going to see God's best in our lives and nothing less. Remember, get out of Haran and head out. To the promised land. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom. I will see you on the next segment next week. Take care.